Hello everyone. Today we're in the 12th chapter of Luke's Gospel. We're beginning at verse 13 and taking it to verse 34. Now, in yesterday's reading, Jesus had been railing against the Pharisees for their hypocrisy. And their hypocrisy was grounded in, in their misfocus. They were focused on rituals and, and things that ultimately were about controlling others and not being centered and focused on God's call in their hearts. And so as T Jesus is teaching in those first 12 verses from yesterday, he's, he starts with the disciples, then he's speaking to the larger crowd about, um, about trusting in the Holy Spirit for all things. And that brings us to verse 13, where there is an interruption. This is what we read. Then someone called from the crowd, Teacher, please tell my brother to divide our father's estate with me. Now, this seems to come out of nowhere. It doesn't seem to match what's going on. It's as though this person in the crowd hasn't been paying attention to what Jesus has been saying at all. He's interested in his stuff, whatever that is. And, and Jesus doesn't want to participate. He says, I'm not going to be the judge in this affair. Now, Jesus is also aware of the deception in the human heart. And in this case, what we, we might think is happening and is that whoever it is that's speaking really is coveting something, but he's trying to masquerade it as some kind of a, a righteous crusade. He's presenting it as though there's an injustice being committed against him, when in fact that may not be the case. Either way, Jesus is, is saying that if your priority is in the right place, then you don't have anything to worry about. If we're focusing on God first, then, then the brother who is in control would be happy to share, and the brother who's not in control would not be concerned because their focus would be on God primarily. To illustrate that, Jesus tells the story of the rich fool, a man who managed to have land that was very, very fertile, and then by, by applying the right techniques, not only was he yielding healthy crops, but he's yielding crops that were so abundant that they, he didn't have the ability to store them all. So he gets an idea that he'll tear down his old barns and build bigger ones so that he can store all this grain for himself and be comfortable for years to come. It says that he will eat, drink, and be merry. And at verse 20, Jesus says this, But God said to him, You fool, you will die this very night. Then who will get everything you worked for? Yes, a person is a fool to store up earthly wealth, but not have a rich relationship with God. The second century church father, Origen, I believe, wrote a sermon, and in it he talks about this particular parable. He said, you know, imagine if that rich man had been in a relationship with God and saw what was happening around him, this abundance of crops, as a gift from God for him to be a steward of. Surely, Origen says, there was more than enough room in the stomachs of the nearby villagers to take care of his extra grain. And imagine that in your life too. If you realize that there's an abundance, that you have something that you have extra of, well, don't keep it. You have it for a reason, and that reason is to share. When we have our priorities right, in fact, our desire then is to give almost all of our stuff away to help others. And that's what happens as you continue to read in the text. Jesus goes on to, to describe scenarios where, where God takes care of creation. And we, as, as his children, humans, are far more important than sparrows and lilies in the fields. Yet, we sometimes get that out of whack. Now, those lines aren't really supposed to be about everyone here selling absolutely everything you own and, and living under a bush someplace it's really an issue of priority. We are being called to surrender our time, our talents, and our treasures to the service of God. God will provide for our needs as we have them. If we have our priorities straight, then, then we can see miraculous things happen. It all wraps up at verse 34, where we read this. Wherever your treasure is, there the desires of of your heart will be also. So I guess the invitation for us today is to take an inventory. 
Where do you spend your time? Where do the majority of your resources go? Where are you giving away your talents? Are they for the sake of the glory of God? Or are they more for selfish gain and ambition? It's not to say that we can't, we, we, well, we do need material things. We need clothes, we need food, we need a place to live. But are we hoarding stuff for ourselves that we could be sharing with others? If we have our priorities straight, if God's glory comes first, we can trust that everything else will fall in the line. So take that inventory today. Ask yourself, is there a place where God is calling you to share what you have? And then go share it and trust in God. Because as you give something away, you will realize that Jesus gives you back so much more in return. It'll be more than worth it. Have a great day. If these devotional videos are helpful to you, subscribe to our channel and click the notification button so you know when we post a new video. And of course, please share them with others.